Good afternoon. My name is Mike. Today we're going to talk about the science behind GCMS. GCMS stands for Gas Chromatography Mass Spectrometry. And basically it's an analytical method used to analyze substances. It's used in many different applications such as fire detection, environmental analysis, and identification of unknown sample. GCMS is actually a combination of two different instruments. An instrument that focuses on gas liquid chromatography and mass spectrometry. GCMS machines actually start by this important factor here, the carrier gas. This specific GCMS machine uses helium. Two other gases that can be used is nitrogen and hydrogen. The carrier gas is very critical to the function of the machine. The gas actually flows to the injector. Here we have the actual capillary tube used in the GCMS oven. It's about 30 meters in length about 0.25 millimeters in width. It's actually made of fused silica with a polymer coating. If you look in the oven, we'll actually see the capillary tube. And this is what is used to push the sample through. The longer the tube, the better the separation. This tube actually goes to the sample injector, which is the next step. This automatic GCMS is a little bit unique compared to some models. If you look closely, you'll see that these sample holders have numbers. By typing in the number, it'll automatically go to your sample and inject your product, your sample. So, I mean, you inject your sample, and it comes to your MS detector, which actually gives you a spectrum. The carrier gas moves with the use of this collar. It's 30 meters in length and 0.25 millimeters in width. It's made of fused silica with a polymer coating. If we open the oven, we'll find the collar here. The oven is responsible for heating the sample and changing it from the liquid state to the gas state, allowing the gas to carry the sample to the mass spec. So, oh, stop, stop. Once our sample is injected into the injection port here, it heats up to about 300 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the sample is transferred to a gas. Once it's a gas, it moves through the column. The long column that we see in the oven here goes round and round in the column, and then it's pushed through the mass spec, which is located on this side. On this side of the GCMS, we have the detector. This is a mass spec which is responsible for the spectrum that you'll see after your sample is analyzed. The ion, the ion source is responsible for breaking the molecules up and giving them a positive charge. The ions are then filtered based on mass. The actual detector counts the number of ions with a specific mass and sends the information to the computer where a spectrum is developed. One of the critical things about using GCMS is to make sure you have the appropriate concentration. The concentration needed is one milligram per milliliter of your sample. And you want to use a solvent volume of about 1.5. The most common solvent most of the time with GCMS, methylene chloride is used as a solvent. The GCMS software allows you to keep track of your recordings. So if you look here in column one, you have a column for sample name. And you have injection notes that allows you to take notes as you compile your spectral data, sample type, and also a section for your vial number, which is critical because you don't want to mix up your vials. The number on your corresponding sample name should correspond to the sample used based on the sample numbers on the GCMS. You can also keep track of the amount of sample you use, the volume of the sample. Three. The sample represented by this graphical data is diiodo bromo aniline. The top represents the GC component of the spectrum. 
that basically represents retention time, which shows you at what time did the separation occur for each component. So each peak represents separation. On the x-axis, that's your time intervals. The bottom section represents the MS component, which, which is the actual fragmentation pattern of the sample. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something about the science behind GCMS.